Today, for the very first time since World War II, 1945, you're going to see one person carrying not just one Sturmgewehr, not just two Sturmgewehrs, and no, not just three Sturmgewehrs, but actually four Sturmgewehrs all in one place. And I have an MP40 just thrown in for fun. Okay, I'm holding four and one. They have to be off the ground to count. If I rest them, it doesn't count. Okay, here they are all laid out uh, nice and pretty like. I'm gonna go over each one of these. These are gonna be offered on our website. Um, these three are all semi-automatic. So basically the full auto receiver was destroyed and a license, ATF license re, um, um, firearms manufacturer was able to rebuild it using a semi-automatic receiver. It's a little more complicated than that, but basically these were legally um, made into semi-automatic so that you can buy one and own one. And just in time for Christmas, you might want to get one. This first one, uh, you can see here, it's from 1944. You also see the late war phosphate finish. And up here it does say MP44, but the, the person that re or the company that remanufactured it marked it semi-automatic so that a police department or somebody at the range would not be upset and confused. You can also see that it has some mismatched parts. Here you see the serial number. Here you see a different serial number. And throughout the gun, there are parts from several different guns. The action is pretty smooth, although it's got a really strong spring on it. So it takes a little oomph to cock it and it does fire. And this is the safety mechanism. So this one's from 1944. Now, the full automatic ones, I have been pricing them, trying to get them, but unfortunately, the prices have gone way up, and in fact, the last time I uh, tried to get one on an auction, it went to just under $50,000 for a full auto, all matching MP44. This being a semi-automatic, the prices range between about $15,000 and go up to about $18,000. And again, just in time for Christmas, you can get one. Uh, here's the next one. You can see here uh, a little bit of uh, bent in the metal. That's where it was remanufactured to be uh, semi-automatic. This one is uh, 1944 as well. Phosphate magazine, blued. Uh, most of the body is blued. Uh, right here it actually says MP43. So again, mismatched parts, but uh, similar action. Safety's down, cock it. And you fire it. Uh, this is the third one, again. Uh, I believe that's 19, yes, that is 1944. This says MP43. And uh, I believe the parts also are mismatched. Doesn't say semi-automatic. And I don't see, you know, I do see a little bit where the receiver was cut and then remanufactured. This is a repro uh, sling, but this one was actually the first one I held up. Uh, this one is, that's an original sling, so repro sling. Uh, this also is all blued, not phosphate, but it's in excellent condition. And let's take a look at the last one. Now, for those of you who uh, can't afford uh, one of the semis and certainly therefore can't afford a full auto, this is actually a dummy. It has been, um, the receiver has been completely destroyed, cannot be remanufactured, and this is just completely solid. It's frozen shut. Uh, this works, and the trigger will pull. Uh, magazine goes in very, very rough. But the, basically, it's just a, a wall display. Uh, this receiver, when it was destroyed, the serial number is gone. It's, not, it's considered a non-gun. You don't need an FFL. It's a, a dummy hang on the wall, or reenactors like these a lot. And these can be anywhere from three to $4,000. Now, speaking of dummies, not me, but... I mentioned this MP40. Let's see who made it. BNZ marked, which is a star fact factory, and then you can see 43. Uh, this is also a dummy. So this is frozen. The receiver has been destroyed. It's a, it's a dummy, and um, again, good for hanging on the wall, or if you're a reenactor, or a Hollywood, and you're in a Hollywood movie, this is a good carry gun. Okay, on a more serious note, 
Of course, everybody who subscribes to this channel would love to get one of these for Christmas, but it's not for everybody. They're expensive toys, but we never see this many at one time. This is actually two different collectors who collected them over a long period of time, and then at some point said, it's time to thin the herd. I suspect in some cases the wife said, it's time to thin the herd. Uh, so we never have this many uh, come in at one time, but we had, they came in within a day of each other. Uh, these all came in together from two collectors. So we wanted to make, make them available to any of you who might be interested. I think it would look great under the Christmas tree.